Good afternoon. I'm Mary Calvi. Now on CBS2 and streaming on CBS News New York, we begin with a deadly end to a three-day-long manhunt in Brooklyn. Police shot and killed a man they say fatally shot two of his neighbors on Sunday. CBS News' John Diaz joins us now live from the scene in Bath Beach, Brooklyn. John. Yeah, Mary, we want to get you right out here into the action as we zoom down live down Bay 44th Street here and try and show you the car where officials say this suspect was hiding inside. Police say they are still awaiting a search warrant on the vehicle to see if the weapon allegedly used to kill two people on Sunday is still inside this vehicle. Uh, but we can tell you that police say the gun was not registered to him. Evidence cones are scattered throughout the corner Bay 44th Street and Harway Avenue, with numerous police investigating. The scene much calmer now, moments after police say a wild encounter with a murder suspect ended deadly. They established dialogue, they spoke for a few minutes, and then at a point, the male who was armed at a knife lunged at one of the officers, causing the officers to fire for their own safety. A police say the person they shot was 47-year-old Jason Pass, a Brooklyn man who was on the run after allegedly shooting his two neighbors dead Sunday. Chief of Patrol John Shell says while a hostage negotiation team was on its way, officers on scene tried to talk to Pass for 15 minutes before he says they were forced to shoot him four times. He basically was saying this, what's happening today is not going to end well. Police say they used a license plate reader to find out where Pass was and found him in his black Honda CRV. We captured a plate on a black car indicating that the car, and we now know the occupant of our car, were wanted for a double horrific homicide. As they exited their police car, they walked up to the car. The male jumped out of the car with a knife in his hand and took off running. A police alleged Pass killed his upstairs neighbor, 47-year-old Vladimir Mathurin, and his 27-year-old stepson, Shinwa Mode, after having ongoing noise disputes. The incident happening five miles away inside their East Flatbush apartment building. So neighbors in Bath Beach are shocked it escalated to their neighborhood. To know that this took place right on the corner of my house at the time where our children are going to school makes us feel very uneasy. Now, a live look back out here at this scene. It is still unclear why Pass was hiding out in this section of Brooklyn. If you knew someone in the area, possibly, or if he was hiding in this car this entire time. Those are questions that we asked police during those uh, press conferences. However, they tell us that it was all, this is all part of their ongoing investigation. So keep it here with us. We'll continue to keep you updated. But for now, we are live this afternoon from Bath Beach, Brooklyn. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.